Good morning, my name is IT2 Villalobos. I'm an ACFL here at the Naval War College. Today we're going to be doing a workout that you can end the week on. We're going to be mixing upper body and lower body workouts as well as cardio workouts to work that cardiorespiratory system. Let's go ahead and get started. For the first part of this workout, we're going to do a workout that involves upper body and lower body. We're going to be supersetting these workouts, which means no rest, which is involving our cardiorespiratory system. We're also tricking up the body from not just working upper body at once, but working the whole body completely. So we're going to start with regular push-ups followed by 30 seconds of squats. So I'll begin the demonstration of the push-ups. We're not going to do a numbered amount of push-ups. Your body doesn't know reps. It only knows resistance. So try to do these till failure, till your body gives out. I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Go ahead and get in the push-up position. Remember, hands out. What you want to do, you want to keep your body tight, two pack up in the air. Keep everything firm, make sure your core is firm. And when you go down, remember, do not flare out your elbows like this. You're only putting pressure on your joints and on your shoulders and taking it away from the rest of your workout. Remember, go all the way down 90 degrees, come back up. Just like that. So what you're going to do, you're going to do that as many times as you can till failure, till your body gives out. You're going to come back up and you're going to go right into 30 seconds of squats. So I'll do the squat demonstration. What a lot of people do incorrectly is they just go straight into the squat. And what you're going to do is you're going to put a lot of emphasis on your knees and that's why a lot of people have knee pain. So go ahead and start with the glutes already flaring out like you're going into stance, like if you're in football. Make sure that your legs are a little bit wide. Take off the pressure off your knees. What you're going to do is you're going to come straight down. Just like this, come back up. Make sure when you come back up that you're flexing your glutes, your core, and you're really going to feel it on your hamstrings and your quads. We're going to do that for 30 seconds straight, no rest. As soon as you're done with the squats, you're going to go ahead, go back down and do push-ups again till failure. The whole point of this, we're going to do this three sets till failure on push-ups and the 30 seconds for squats. You're really working your sagittal and frontal planes as well as working your cardiorespiratory system which builds muscular endurance. And that's the first part of the workout. So for the next part of this workout, we're going to do another form of squats as well as we're going to do various forms of push-ups. So if you want tips and tricks while you're doing the squats, you can use your household items kind of like a chair or a sofa just to make sure you're really getting the most out of the contraction of the squat going all the way down. The further down you go, the more you're emphasizing on all those body parts on your legs. So we're going to do some explosive squats, which is going to help us with velocity, speed, and power. So you're going to go get down in the squat just like this. We're going to do four sets of this. You're going to do this for 10 reps. So you're going to go down nice and slow on the squat. And then when you come back up, you're going to explode up like that, just like that. You're going to do the jumping motion. This is going to get your heart rate going, but you're also with going down in the squat and then exploding you're really working that cardiorespiratory system as well as your muscular endurance being built overall. So we're going to do 10 of those. Right after you do 10 of those, we're going to go ahead. We're going to do some planks. You're going to go down into the plank motion. Remember, you, got, you want to make sure that your arms are under your chest. You want to take off all the pressure off your shoulders. This is the best way to do this. This is the best form to hold the position a lot longer. Make sure you keep your core tight. You're going to hold that for 30 seconds. You're going to hold it just like this for 30 seconds. As soon as you're done doing that, you're going to come back up. You're going to go straight back down, squats, explode. You're going to do that for four sets. You're going to do this simultaneously without rest. The whole point is you're also getting your cardio in besides working your legs and your upper body. And that is the second portion of the workout. This will be the final portion of our workout where we're going to be focusing on a lot more cardiovascular workouts. A lot of people are upset right now that their local gym is closed, your base gym is closed. Oh man, can I use my stair climber, can I use the treadmill, can I use the elliptical? Well, you still have the whole area in your house and you can do a lot with your body to get a really good cardio workout. So for the cardio portion, you might want to use your phone, timer, microwave, clock, whatever you want. You're going to time yourself while you're doing these exercises. So what you're going to do first is going to do a minute straight of four count jumping jacks. So I'll demonstrate, I'm going to come to the ready. One, two, three, one. That's one. You're going to do that for a minute straight. After you're done doing that for a minute straight, you're going to go into jump ropes. So if you don't have a jump rope at your house, that's fine. You don't need one. Pretend you have one. Still do the motion. You're going to do that for 30 seconds straight, just like this. Even do everything with the arm movements, everything the same. 
30 seconds straight, and then after that, you're gonna go back into the jumping jacks, a minute, four count jumping jacks. You really wanna to try to do this with no rest. You're gonna do this three times. So you're gonna do a minute of four count jumping jacks, followed by 30 seconds of jump rope. If you really wanna challenge yourself on this portion, what you wanna do is you wanna do it faster. So instead of just doing it just like this, you can always go faster. You don't have to do the four count, count to yourself. The whole point is, is that you don't stop for that time. As soon as that minute's over, go straight into jump roping. You can even mix it up. Do what you want, be creative. Go as fast as you can. The whole point is to not stop. This is gonna be building our endurance and you should feel a sweat coming on. That'll be the final portion of the cardiovascular workout. So now that we've completed this workout for you today, we've worked out both parts of our body, upper body, lower body, as well as got in a little portion of a cardio workout. Any workout you see on any of these videos, you can mix and match. You don't always have to do the same thing. The whole point is that we don't want to get comfortable with what our bodies are doing because we'll get into a state of plateauing. So mixing it up is the best key for the body to get used to something different. And that's how you get stronger. That's how you get faster. And over time, that's how your body grows. We adapt, we overcome. We might not have the gym right now, Everything might be closed, but that doesn't mean we can use the stuff around us, like items in our house, our living room, our garage. We can always have a good workout no matter where we're at. My name is IT2 Villalobos, and thank you for joining me on this workout.